How is it going everybody Mr. Android here. Welcome back to a brand new video on this channel. In today's video, I am going to share with you some of the underrated and lesser known one UI hidden features, tips and tricks that I am sure not many of you know about. So if you really want to make most out of your Samsung smartphone, then stay tuned and watch this video till the very end. Trust me, you learn something new and useful in this video. With that being said, let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. So drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Now whenever I want to search anything within the applications, I don't have to keep looking for the search button. Instead what I can do is, I just need to swipe up from the right side and it instantly opens the search field where I can quickly search anything. Let's say I am watching a video on YouTube. In case I want to search for any other topic or a video, I need to minimize this video, go back to the main page and look for the search icon. Instead of doing all this, I just need to swipe once and it opens the search bar right away. It works on many applications like YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Gmail and more. Guys, you can activate this useful feature on your Samsung phone with the help of a good lock module called One Hand Operations. So if you have already installed the GoodLock app on your phone, then simply open it and install the One Hand Operations Plus module. This module basically lets you add additional gestures to the left or right side of the screen so you can easily control your phone with one hand. Just go to the left or right handle and assign the swipe action called search in app. You can assign it either on the left or right side as per your requirement. Once done, now whenever you want to search anything within the applications, just stop looking for the search button, simply swipe with your fingers and start searching right away. If you are someone who uses the always on display feature, then did you know there is a way to display the time in landscape orientation, allowing it to serve as a convenient bedside clock during night time. In order to enable this on your phone, just open the quick settings panel, press and hold on this auto rotate toggle, you will have this little pop up on your screen. Just make sure that the auto rotate is turned on and then go ahead and enable the lock screen toggle. Once done, now when you go to your phone's lock screen and rotate your phone to landscape, both your lock screen and the always on display will appear in landscape mode. If you own a galaxy device and you love playing games on your phone, then you might want to install one of the official Samsung app called Game Plugins directly from the galaxy store. I see many of you use the game launcher settings on your phones. But this one is even more powerful and unlocks many more features that will help you take your gaming experience to a whole new level. All you have to do is just head over to the Galaxy store and search game plugins. I'll also make sure to drop a direct link in the description below. Once you open up the app, straight away you'll see a bunch of useful tools that were not available within the default settings and these will definitely level up your gaming experience. If you go inside Game Booster Plus, here you'll see a list of games that are installed on your phone and it lets you tweak the settings individually for a specific game depending on its requirements. You can improve the graphics quality, increase the FPS and there is this option called Frame Booster so you can add extra frames and this will be helpful for games that only support 60 FPS. Apart from this, you also get a lot more features inside this application and if you are someone who likes playing games on your phone, then it's a must-have application for you. One of my favorite One UI features which can be found in most Samsung devices is the Edge Panel and I use it to quickly open multiple apps in split screen or a pop-up window. To open apps in split screen, we just drag and drop the application either on the upper or lower part of the screen. Now instead of doing this, I'll just tap on the application and it directly opens in a split screen window. I think this is slightly more convenient than the drag and drop thing which we usually do for multitasking. And in order to change this particular setting, Go to the display option, scroll down and select edge panels. Now go inside panels, tap on edit. Just click on this three dot menu and change the touch and hold action to tap. That's it. Now when you're using the edge panel, just tap on the app icon and it automatically opens that app in a split screen window. So if you're using edge panels on your phone, then make sure to change this setting right away. Next, let's talk about the circle to search feature. I see many people use this feature just to quickly search anything on Google. You can circle, scribble or tap anywhere on the screen to search instantly. But let me show you some more use cases. Guys, did you know with the help of this feature, you can copy any text from anywhere on the screen. Sometimes when you're watching a video on YouTube, it just doesn't allow you to copy anything from that video description or even the comment section. And the same thing goes with Instagram as well. 
In situations like this, where you are unable to copy any link or text, what you can do is simply activate the circle to search and now you can easily copy anything from anywhere on YouTube, Instagram or any other social platform. Similarly, if you're watching content and you want to copy something directly from that video, you can do that with the help of circle to search. And not only this, it even lets you translate anything present on the screen in just a single click. So instead of searching on Google, you can do much more with the help of this amazing feature. Finally, let me show you one useful hidden feature that can be found inside your phone settings. If I go into connections, select usage data, here we get this option that says allow network for apps. You can now limit data or Wi-Fi usage for selected apps on your Samsung phone. Let's say I want to watch videos on YouTube only when my phone is connected to the Wi-Fi network. All I have to do is just select YouTube from the list and click on this option that says Wi-Fi only. Now if my phone is connected to the mobile data, I won't be able to play videos on YouTube. You can use this hidden setting to restrict all the data hungry apps in the background. You can simply set those apps to Wi-Fi usage only. This way you can definitely save some of your mobile data. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some really useful hidden One UI features that you should definitely start using on your Samsung phone. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.